Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be starting off a little bit something different because I wanted to try out some other games. Now, before we start out the video, guys, this is definitely not a sponsor. This is just something I'm doing for fun, and I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. So today, NBA 2K20 just got released, and I used to play these games back on like PS2 way back a couple of years ago. But I haven't played a 2K game in a while, and I really liked the way this one was looking. I liked some of the things that they were doing with the My Career system and the brand new neighborhood, so I decided to pick it up. At first, I was just going to play for fun, but I decided, hey, why not start a new series on the channel? We're actually going to start a My Career player, and you guys are going to come around on the road with me. Now, if you guys enjoyed this series, I'll definitely make some more videos. We'll go through the whole season and go through the neighborhood together with my character. But if you guys aren't really enjoying the series or anything like that then i'll just stick to playing the game offline because i find it a ton of fun so first things first guys let's get right on into my career we're going to start and create a player and i'll take you guys through the entire process of me creating my first ever player now you actually can scan your face directly into the game if you have one of the playstation cameras or if you're on xbox you can scan your face directly into the game and it's like extremely accurate it's pretty insane how you can do that now i did not choose to go with that feature instead i just built my character piece by piece and overall i was pretty happy with the way that he came out it took me maybe about 30 minutes or so to create my character there's so many different options that you can choose from to try to make your character extremely accurate and then on top of that you can actually edit each individual option and actually fine tune each and every feature to try to get your character to look exactly how you like so this is a pretty cool feature i really like all of the different fine tunes that you can do and you can actually create some pretty insane designs with all of the different options that they allow. So once your character is created, you'll have to set a name and a position. Also, you can, you can choose the jersey number and whether he's right-handed or left-handed. You'll then be brought to other menus where you can pick your stats and actually fine-tune how your character is going to perform. You can also choose things like the height and the wingspan of the character and also choose how high he can jump, things like that, and really fine-tune exactly the kind of player that you want to be. So I finally ended up finishing making my character. Like I said, this took maybe like 30 minutes or so, but I didn't want to bore you guys with the entire process because it did take a little bit of time. But after getting to my first match, uh, the story did start to unfold, and I was only really thrown in for maybe the last quarter or a play or two, and then immediately after, this cutscene began, and it's pretty insane, pretty intense. I want to watch it here with you guys. So this is the very first cutscene that you will see when you come into my career. I just ended up getting swapped out because of my I just wasn't really supposed to be playing much longer. Whoa. He's down. I, I guess, I don't know who this guy is. We're playing for the Bay City. This is like a college game. We're not actually in the NBA yet. So it starts you off, starting off in college league. Wow, everyone's on my team is freaking out because they didn't even... Yeah, he's definitely getting taken out of the game. That's pretty insane to see them actually throw a cutscene in the very first little game here. I wasn't expecting that. I really thought I was just going to like play it out. Wow, this game takes you way like behind the scenes and everything. Kind of crazy how insane the graphics Basically, are. Like my character is actually still sweating after the game. My job. It looks pretty accurate. Like that's nuts. We'll find out our seed. Good job. Hey, coach is right, y'all. We bled for this. Gru, how much weight you put on last summer? 35 pounds of raw stony and steel. Yo, where is he from? He must have been training with the Russian Olympians again. Yeah, honestly, I really like the story so far in these cutscenes. Like, one one. What about now? Three to one? I don't know. He's playing like a pretty crazier role. It would have been cool if you got to like choose the role you wanted to play beforehand. I mean, the kid had peanuts. Well, honestly, this, this has got me pretty pumped up for the whole season and actually get, get right out there and play. Us, and he never complained, not once. Normally in these sports games, though, like you'd just have game after game after game. I'm not really sure how I feel about these long cutscenes. I think they could be a little bit shorter just to actually keep us up playing the game. 
but this backstory is pretty cool. Definitely haven't seen anything like this in any sort of sports game before. Let's do this fire brother port. Let's bring it in. Play for port all three. And honestly, after playing other sports in the past, like this is extremely accurate. And honestly, like the way you feel after watching the cutscene, I I mean it's pretty cool. But overall, I just hope there's not too many of them. Well, we just got thrown right into another cutscene, but it looks like this is just like another quick update. We're going back to Bay City, back to college. Moving on to the 7 versus 10 matchup in the West. We've got the Bay City Flames facing off against the Tri State Iron. Let's go cut down some nets. I've been playing the game maybe about an hour or so so far, and I've only really been able to play on the court for maybe like five or ten minutes. But and so it's a, it is a little bit of a slow intro, but I think it's going to pick up here pretty soon. Oh, snap. Buddy's in a wheelchair now. No way. Yo, I need that hoodie. That's a guiding light hoodie. Yo, they put my dude in a guiding light hoodie. No way. Hey, we got your back, Pete. Oh, that's sick. But you'll be back playing that with Sham again in no time. Boy, stop. You know my Sham, Lethal Cut. Yeah, whatever. Man. Appreciate y'all. For real. Spoke with Coach and he, uh, when we decided it'd be best if I, uh, <sighs> rehab back home, so. Hey, what you talking about? Medical Center is one of the best in the country. <laughs> Come on, Che. You and I both know I ain't getting no burn here. Figure I get my knee right, maybe I could transfer down the level, so. Transfer? Porter, man, what's going on? This school's your life. Look, Jay, uh, Coach took my scholarship, man. Yo, what the hell? Did they even do that, man? They just take a scholarship away? He didn't do anything wrong. I, mean, I get that he got injured or whatever, but... Uh, it just doesn't make any sense, man. Where the hell am I going? Oh, yeah, you man think you're stop it? You, Afternoon, you, what, Dr. Where am I going? Performance on Saturday. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you limit distractions. Mm -hmm. Keep it going, son. So confused. Oh, he's gonna go you talk to the coach. He's gonna get this reverted. He's gonna get his leg fixed. important to me. Answer the question, oh, coach. Hey, hey, watch your tone, you okay? Back. I know you're upset. I am too, but there's some things you don't understand. I Man, it seems pretty simple to me, coach. You recruit a kid, he gets hurt, and you force him to transfer and bring in somebody better. Coach, does that sound about right? What? No, no. Jay, listen to me. Coach, man, Porter did everything you asked. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like, how do they even take the scholarship away? Like, I understand that he got hurt. I do, but I'm sure this stuff happens all the time, man. So that's actually why I got out of sports. It was just too political. Well, it wasn't even about the game. It wasn't even about, like, whether you were good or not. Like, it was literally just about how much money they could make. So that's literally... I get it, because that's literally why I stopped playing sports. Jay, you running with the Oh yeah, now what? Watch coach gonna have a little he's gonna bum bench me now? Bro, what this is what I'm talking about. It's all politics, yo. It has nothing to do with anybody. Right, guys, bring it in. Doesn't it's just all about the four, money. Three. One, two, three, pick a Alright, let's go. So your contention is that athletes, specifically basketball players, have leveraged their marketability to get more bargaining power with ownership pretty much pretty much not exactly a hard sell for your thesis yeah i'm sorry about this long ass cutscene man i don't know what this is bro i just want to play i want to get on years. on the court like this is cool you've never it really is but i just want to play the game so hopefully next episode, if you guys want to see another one, we'll actually be out on the court some more. I don't know what's going on. Kid my team. A, I guess this is the intro, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. This actually is a pretty crazy watch. story. You don't so even far. have a TV East. Wasn't expecting this out of How like a sports game, though. I, I thought this for a second I was playing it's like bad. Detroit Become Humans or something. I mean, I'm the captain. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Let me know if you guys want to see another episode of this. Hopefully, like I said, the next episode will probably be more out on, more on the court more. Maybe we can get into some multiplayer and stuff. Uh, but this is the intro to the game, about, about the first hour or so that I've been playing. When I didn't get tenure last year, you spent two months petitioning for me. 
rallying students, collecting signatures. And that didn't even make a difference. It did to me. That's what kept me going. That's why I'm still here. All right, I want to try to get some more gameplay in this, so I'm sorry if this if this uh, episode goes a little long, maybe to like 15, 20 minutes or so. It's only to make sure that there's actually some more gameplay in here. So if you guys are getting bored of the cutscene, fast forward. We're gonna actually I'm gonna put some more gameplay and stuff here at the end. Sometimes words. But I don't want to miss these cutscenes. If you really want them to hear you, you gotta be willing to sacrifice, Jay. Come on, Gru. Thought we talked about pregame nutrition, big man. Some things are bigger than the game. Don't I know? Hey, let me highlight y'all for a sec, fellas. I know how long I've been wanting this, man. But sometimes you gotta put others before yourself. No matter how much it hurts. As your captain, it's what you expect of me, and honestly, it's what I expect of myself. I mean, that's why I can't just sit back and let what happened to Porter just ride. It's not who I am, and as a team, it's not who we are. So in light of Dr. Owen and the coach's actions, I'm not gonna be playing today, fellas. Look, man, I know y'all heated, and I will be too, but like Gru said, man, some things are bigger than ball. Nah. You not shooting either are we. We brothers, Shay. They wanna do Porter dirty, they gonna feel us. They gonna feel all of us. Look, I can't let you do that, Ty. Look, I'm a senior. They can't do nothing to me, man, but y'all got your whole futures ahead of y'all, right? And y'all been rocking with me this far? This school? Nah, man, this whole country, you know that I speak for everybody in here, right? All right, let's go. Jay, if you get the tip time, come on, good change, let's go. I can't do that, coach. Excuse me? Whatever point you think you're making, son, now is not the time. You are the captain of this team. Better act like it. I believe I am, coach. Bro, he's just gonna sit out the whole match now? Not even, he could have just sat out for half or a quarter or something and see how they were doing, but he's gonna sit out the whole game and potentially cause the loss for them. Like, look, what's going on? Why are these my like why are they making all these decisions for me? Alright, fellas. Let's Bro, do this. Watch them go out there and lose. They they don't even they don't want to go out there. They're like, well, if you're sitting out, might as well I'll sit out. They don't even want to play without them. What's going on here? Come on, Ty. Bro, now they're right, gonna all lose. Right, all right. Don't yeah, rush now they're gonna lose. Take it down, court small. Uh -huh. There you go. There you go. Go, go, go up, go up. Ah, oh, come on, Gru. You gotta spike that, man. I told him not to eat that burrito. Bro, they literally lost because this man ate a freaking burrito. Come on, dog. He literally told you not to eat that burrito before the game, and now, look at you. God, man. Are they crying? What the hell? Are they actually crying, dude? Over a college game. Bro, they're crying. I mean, I understand a loss, man. I understand being salty, but are they crying? That's a grown-ass man, dude. That's a grown-ass man. I'm sorry, fellas. Okay. Forget that. Just because we lost don't make it a bad decision. <laughs> Feel me? What the hell, dude? Basketball is an emotional freaking sport, dude. That's why I play baseball. Oh, my. Bro, more cutscenes? Coach said you were being held out for a violation of team rules. Care to comment? The only violation is on our coach and our school president. 
when they violated the fate that we as a team had in our athletic department Damn, when they forced my friend Floyd Rose to transfer. So you're being penalized for speaking up? It was a choice. You chose to sit out. I chose to stand up. Thank you. Oh, okay. Walk away. Mic drop. Ooh. All right, let's get on the court. Let's hey, play. I really apologize, guys. Next cut, next episode. I'm not even gonna. If you guys don't want to see any cutscenes, let me know. I'll take all the cutscenes out because I don't know. Usually, my channel is all about gameplay, 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 and I feel like this has just been a lot of cutscenes. So I do apologize. Let me know if you guys want me to take right. out some of the cutscenes, maybe, or just only leave in some of the funnier ones for next episode. Both sides, and everybody got the hot take, but you can't please them all. True. Listen, you try to please them all, you're gonna go crazy. Stay true to Che. That's how I stay true to Deezus. You know what I'm saying? I go in my basement, I lock in with my 2K on my 72 inch TV and maybe a big burrito on my belly and ignore all phone calls. That's right. Self care is important, brother. I respect that move. Thank you. You know, the only thing important to me right now is talking mad smack on a headset to some kid named Dimitri in Athens. Like, fam, I got your IP address. Cross me up one more time. I'm taking out you, your mother, whatever's left of the Acropolis early. <laughs> Until you find out he's really Giannis and homie got like 38 brothers. That's real. I want no smoke with them. You know what I'm saying? But yo, is anybody coming at you real hard though on the, on the social media tip? You know what I mean? Trying to get at you? Yeah, but you know what? I, I try to stay away from the social media stuff. Honestly, really, I just wanted to help out my teammate, man. And I feel like our school was way better than the way they treated him. Real talk. I mean, you? Yeah, the school? Mm. But hey, yo, keep repping for us, man. Keep that fist up, you know what I mean? Keep doing your thing. That's right, man. Keep putting on for all the scrubs out here. Yo, up next, what do turtles keep in their shell? Four experts weigh in. Hmm. Mm. I think pennies. Probably like a crockpot. You were three months from graduating, Che. Yo, this is insane. No, what's insane is that my Yo, mother got no, death threats. I can't stay here. Che, look at me. Look at me. Okay. I know this is hard, but by dropping out, you are letting them win. They already won, Issa. Porter's no close to getting the scholarship back and half the school hates me. Look, I'm not saying I regret it, right? Because I don't. But I'm not going to stay on the campus. They don't even want me here. So all the work you've done, you're just going to throw it away? Throw it away? You think me getting a diploma from a man who doesn't even respect me somehow makes this all worthwhile? Yes, I do. It's a diploma. I don't care about no diploma. So now what? <sighs> nah, it gets real. You know, three years ago, it wasn't even a question that I was going to get drafted. Not a question, but now. You know, it's funny. Every year, my numbers kept on improving. Yet my stock just kept on dropping, man. Honestly, Issa, I don't even know where to begin. This is the most dramatic story I've ever seen in a sports video game. You know, I don't know jack about basketball. But I damn sure know research. And we'll figure this out. All right, I think it's finally over. And we get to go right. to our next match. We get to find a team, get drafted, figure out our next move. That's a really nice intro. I don't, I don't think it needed to be that long, though. One of the best intros I've ever seen to a sports game, hands down, but honestly, I just don't think it needed to be that long, man. It's like I'm watching a freaking movie. I, I wasn't ready for that. All right, so now I get to pick my hometown. You get to choose between four different hometowns. I'm just going to go with New York because, you know, LA, I was going to pick Los Angeles, but every single game I play nowadays, like GTA 5, all these other games, are already based in LA. I like New York a lot, and I've been there a bunch of times, so we're just going to pick the New York as my hometown. And it looks like another cutscene, but hey, we're probably gonna end up playing here after this one. What's doing time, man? I thought you had to sit some more. Just checking up on you. How you holding up? Man, I'm good, man. You know, just waiting on the call, I guess. I know how it is. Tournament ends. Suddenly everything starts to get real. But yo, you got somebody helping you out? Yeah, my uh, advisor from school. She got me. Yo, real talk, Che. What you did? Standing up for your boy like that? Not a lot of players, shoot, not a lot of people putting themselves out there like that. Hey, man, I appreciate it, fam. Ready for these skates? Man, hold up. <laughs> Alright, it looks like we're actually finally going to be able to play our first match. And this is an actual street game, so these rules are going to be a little bit different. Not going to be based on the normal 
2K rules or like the NBA rules. So let's play out this whole match, guys, and then I'll end the episode here. I'm sorry if this is like a long, long, long episode. I can see now that it's going to just be super long. Uh, like I said, for the future episodes, I'll definitely try to keep them shorter. If you don't want to see cutscenes as much, be sure to let me know because I'll take some more of them out. But I did feel like you guys needed to get a good grasp on what the story was if we're going to continue this my career. And overall, now that I'm actually playing the game, had some more time to actually feel everything and like actually play, I'm really starting to like this game. And the more that I play it, honestly, the more that I want to play it. So I'm definitely going to continue to grind out this game. And I definitely am having a lot of fun making this series as well. I haven't made any episodes or any like series-based content in months. And it's honestly kind of refreshing to step away from Fortnite for a little while. Not to say that I quit Fortnite, but I definitely just wanted to shake things up a little bit. And just get a change of scenery because Fortnite and the way that Epic Games is treating that game right now is just not right compared to the way that it was when it first came out. Now, I'm not the best 2K player out there, so honestly, this guy kind of smacked me. Uh, once I get into the future matches, I'm sure I'll be doing a little bit better, but I did record this video at about 5 or 6 in the morning, and after watching like 2 hours of cutscenes and creating my character and stuff, so I do apologize if this game didn't go that great, but I did want to try to throw some gameplay in here of the actual gameplay so that you guys can see what the graphics look like and exactly what kind of chords, stuff like that, the sounds, everything that this game has to offer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. I'll be back in a few days if you guys want to see some more episodes. We can even make this a daily series if you guys would like. So hope you guys enjoyed this intro to the brand new 2K20 series. Have a great rest of your day. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and want to see future episodes. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Call me with a bow, huh? You about that life? My bad, fam. Just got a little wound up, I guess. I know you said you got someone checking for you, but if you need that link to my agent, just say the word.